Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be opening up a Legend Pack Bundle, 7 packs and 1 topper. Uh, the reason that I'm willing to spend the money is I just got my birthday pay from work, uh, which is really awesome. So, uh, thank you, work, for buying this 7-pack bundle for me. Whoopee. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a college student, so it's not like I have bills or any real responsibilities to spend my money on. That's why I spend them on Mutt, because... If I had like a car payment or a house payment or I had to pay for my insurance and that shit, no way on earth would I be buying Ultimate Team Packs. But since I don't, since I'm 19 and I don't have any real responsibilities except get up, go to class, and get good grades, um, I can spend my money on this. So, Because I, I know someone's going to bitch in the comment about all the money I've spent, but uh, I got up and I went to work all summer working 40 plus hours a week, making money, doing my thing. Um, so I have it, not to be a dick, but I do have some decent amount of money in the bank. Uh, plus I'm still working like 12 to 18 to 20 some hours a week, uh, on top of going to school. So I am still making money. It's not like this 50 bucks to buy this is detrimental to my life savings. Well, let's get into this. Open up the legendary topper first. Ooh, a Warren Moon collectible. Probably not worth that much. I don't know why I got excited about that. Um... Oh, okay, there we go. A Mike Webster collectible. I'll take that. That's got to be it's more than the Warren Moon collectible, I'm assuming. And an Aikman collectible. Okay, so three three decent collectibles. The Webster is probably the best, then the Aikman, then the Moon, maybe. No, probably the Moon, then the Aikman. I don't know, but let's get into the opening the, of the Legendary Packs. I'm going to back all the way out here. Head over here. I actually didn't get to grind any solos last night, so I have three more solos than I wish I had today. So hopefully I can still get it done, though. Uh, but let's go through this. Starting out with Anthony Fasano. Uh, Lex Hilliard and William Gay. Wow. Way to just destroy my life in the very first three pack, three card, or four, three of the four cards. That's Alan Ravens. Oh, Texans away. Philip Wheeler. A Mackie collectible. All right. And Barry Cofield. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. Well, the first pack is a bust. Let's get into the next one. Okay. Trent Cole, not bad. 83 overall. Oh, Fitz. Let's go. An elite. I'll take it. I'll take Larry Fitzgerald. A Steve Largent collectible. Buccaneers offense. Riley Reef. Fletcher Cox. And Glover Quinn. But... Pulled Fitzgerald, nice pull. Uh, I wish I was still working on short pass. So that I wish I had short pass, not long pass, right now, so I could at least use him for the solos before I sell him. But I'll probably just sell him straight up now. All right, five more to go. Nice, pulled an elite. I wasn't expecting an elite. Uh, Deron Harmon, all right, Patriot. I see you. Casey Hayward, all right, 82, but he's a corner, so probably not that much, but decent amount. Ooh, Frank Gore, all right, 86 overall halfback, nice. Uh, Greg Robinson. Nope, here it is. A Franco Harris collectible. All right. Oh, Jadavian Clowney. Nice. Uh, I don't know how much he's worth. He's probably worth a little bit. And then the Ram Stadium. Nice. All right, we're getting. I'm getting some good pulls here. Getting some decent good pulls. I love to pull that Emmett though. All right, we're starting off with a Blanda collectible. John Fox, David Harris, Corey Legit. Uh, Jeremy Parnell, Lane Johnson, I think that's it. Oh, no, nope. Oh, rising star Paul Warlow. All right, I'll take it because I got to do the man defense, so I was going to do his collection anyway, so that's nice. That's helpful. I'm actually, actually kind of happy about that Paul Warlow. All right, into the next pack. All right, Carlos Dansby, nice. Uh, Derek Morgan, all right. Uh, George Iloka. Uh, team of the week item, or however you say his last name. Uh, 84 overall strong safety. Ooh, uh, William Perry, the fridge collectible. Nice. DJ Fluker and Anthony McCoy. All right, so another not too terrible pack. Two packs to go. Can I pull anything good here? Edelman. Chris Clemens. Let's go from the back now. Ooh, Darrell Freeman. Another Warren Moon collectible. T.Y. Hilton, and Alec Ogletree. So, all right, got the Moon Collectible, I guess, and Edelman. All right, last pack. Can I get some luck here? Come on, Emmett. Give me Emmett. 
Starting off with Andy Reid. We're going to go from the back. All right, a Jack Ham collectible. D'Angelo Williams. Jonathan Babineau. Dante Hightower. All right. All right, Jonathan Stewart, and I think that's it. Nope, one more. Uh, Darius Butler. All right. So we'll pull that fits. I got some more c collectibles. I'll probably hold off to sell those until maybe tomorrow. Um... I'll lose a few thousand coins on each collectible. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, I'll go more in-depth with these players a little bit later, the Upshot and the uh, Emmett. But let's check out this Fitz. Let's see here. He go back. Uh, wide receiver. Elite. Come on, Fitz. Be worth something for me. Be worth something for me, buddy. Style, short pass, by now. All right, Fitz is worth 55k. I'll take it. 55k, better than nothing. Um, should be able to get about 100k out of that pack or some more of that bundle. I'd say about 150k. I can probably get at least, uh, which is not terrible. Uh, not great, but not terrible. Uh, so I'll be able to. Uh, do, get some coins out of it. I just hadn't opened the Legend Bundle yet for you guys, and uh, I thought I would. I'll probably open up the next All-Pro and All-Madden that come out, maybe, um, just so I can have a pack opening of each type on my channel. Uh, and then I might... I, I think I'm going to do another Game Changer when they come out, maybe, depending on how close all these things come. If they all like come out in just a cluster, I'm not spending like 300 bucks in like two weeks. Uh, but if the next game, ch if the next, if the, if the game changers are next and they come out like next weekend, I'll probably get them. Uh, but that might be the last time I do get game changers. But hey, why not build up your coins here at the beginning when having a great team is not the biggest of deals. Um, but really, uh, people ask me what I'm saving my coins for. Uh, I'm saving my coins for that golden ticket, Michael Vick. Um, I'm saving it for uh, a, a really badass Randy Moss. Uh, a 99 Charles Woodson, you know, that type of stuff. You guys know the players that I like. Uh, a 99 Cromartie, even though this one will stay on my team forever, probably. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you bought Legend Packs or Bundles, you can also buy Single Packs. You can buy three of them uh, for a heck of a lot of coins that I don't want to spend. Uh, what is that, 157,500, or yeah, 500 coins, or that is 15, 2,250 points. Uh, you're better off just getting the bundle, um, because then you get that topper and you at least get some collectibles, some guaranteed good collectible, decent collectibles, I guess, um, to sell, but I'll probably sell my collectibles tomorrow. I got some players I need to sell, I'll probably throw players up today, so I'll probably lose about, I think on all the cards I'm going to sell this weekend, I'll probably lose like 15, 20,000 because of new releases. It's better off to sell your cards during the week, but... Uh, I'm really busy with college, so I don't have all that much time to sit around and sell my cards during the week. I have more time on the weekend. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in my next video.